You don't just start washing, priming, painting, and decorating. You study the era, the architect, the original designers and decorators, the color scheme. And each one of the craftsmen are um, trained in all facets of the craft. as they do up here. Not quite as intense, huh? Right, this is a beautiful tone. Mm -hmm. Oh, looks good. There's a tremendous amount of difference between the old and the new. Each of the projects is different. Every, every one has its own facets. And when you renovate or restore or decorate a project, you uh, start from scratch. And it's like reading a book. It's uh, a story unfolds before you, and um, um, you don't know all the answers right away. The church was built in 1890. Uh, the people who worship in that community go back three and four generations. Uh, the church is, is more than just a fixture in the community. It's a, it's a, it's a part uh, of, the, of the blood, the sweat, and the tears of those people. This is where they worship. Uh, this is where they are married. This is where their children are baptized. Uh, this is where they are buried from. So the church is a very, very important part of, of uh, the fiber of that community and of our faith community. Um, when the church was destroyed, it was like a, like a funeral, like somebody had died in the community. Father Gosman needed someone to rebuild the church and restore the structure and the community pride lost in the fire. The project went to Conrad Schmidt Studios. When Conrad Schmidt Studios came in, they were aware of the former coloring that had been in that church and uh, they were very sensitive to, to restoring the church uh, in a way that people who remembered it before that prior decoration would be able to walk in and say, oh yeah, that's, that's the way it used to be. And that may be the single most important goal of Conrad Schmidt Studios, to recreate the beauty of the master craftsmen of years gone by and do it so authentically that those who may remember it will say, yes, that's the way it used to be. For St. Louis Union Station, that was no small feat. For Conrad Schmidt Studios, it became a task of great enormity and detail to go back almost a full century to uncover this station's original decor it would become the largest renovation project in the country. And the job for Conrad Schmidt Studios would be to restore it exactly the way it was first conceived. The Union Station was our largest project at the time. The entire project was a two and a half year process and about a 
nine months of that was just study. The microscopic study of paint chips. The restoration of a detailed and allegorical window. And the recreation of the entire interior. That room will be completely scaffolded from end to end, from bottom to top. Every space will be reachable and accessible to us. Wall, ceiling, all of it will be accessible that we can reach and, and do this job. Detail upon detail. Every square inch of every surface. The renovation of Union Station uh, gives you a warm feeling. But it's not just the renovation of Union Station. You get that feeling every time you restore a project, every time you renovate a project, because you know you're, you're preserving part of the past that's going to be used by the future. And you're going to continue on what gen one generation did for another generation. It's been a, a thrill. I think it means a great deal to go back to halls and churches and ballrooms and, uh, and have the halls uh, begin to live and have a church really uh, speak and realize that there is a permanency in uh, the art, that it is not just uh, uh, creating a one little sketch and it's gone, but it'll live much, uh, many more years than um, glancing at a, a snapshot or a picture. We uh, don't just paint a project or install a stained glass window. We try to make the project a piece of art and not just our decorating or glass we're going into it, but the entire project should be viewed when we're through with it as a piece of art that'll live on for generations. The Conrad Schmidt Studios, the master craftsman of North America, creating and recreating art that is forever.